everybody. Welcome back Welcome to Fit Talk. Welcome back. We are with my spirit animal, Peter Lee Thomas, and we are once again here talking about our Respin Fitness uh, equipment line. We all know that you guys have a dedicated interest in fitness. We also know that not everybody has a fancy gym membership, and we don't want you to think that fitness isn't affordable because it absolutely is. So this line that we've created is for you. Shoot us a video, shoot us a selfie, let us know how you like it, give us any feedback, any items you'd like us to add to it because we're going to be expanding the collection. We want your feedback so this is like the start of our relationship. Oh yeah. Mm. Wow. I really like this question because it, it really narrows things down. If I had to pick one, I would pick an exercise like a squat because it trains so much. People think it doesn't train your abs, but it does train your abs because there's a lot of stability that has to be incorporated into the squat. And it's just, you feel really, really good. When you have a nice, strong foundation and nice, strong base, you just have a certain posture about you in life that goes a long way. So definitely the squat for me. Mm. You feel about this? Mm -hmm. I don't, let's see, for me, I, I would say, something to do with my core. As a woman, having had children, I think everything you do radiates from a strong core. So I would either, you know, do probably some sort of a plank or um, some sort of exercise for my core. Because I think everything, especially for a woman, starts with a, a strong midsection. I love that. We all know that body weight training for your legs is essential and it's good to have. However, if you have resistance bands and booty bands, you can take your training to a whole nother level. You don't need weights. Like this is what's so great about using your own body weight. You know, that way as a woman, you don't bulk up. You kind of are only using your own body to help sort of tone your body, which is why I love things like bands and resistance bands. And I particularly love the booty band because every girl wants her booty right. Yes. So. <laughs> <laughs> also another good thing for your legs are ankle weights, right? These are so cool because again, they're form fitting, they contour just around the ankle and um, they're, they're just the right amount of weight. Some of these big giant bulky ones, you don't really need to go to that extent. I think this is exactly what you need. Um, and, and again, they're just, the texture is, is so wonderful and I think you're gonna love these. And, and I like to do jumping jacks with my ankle yeah, weights on. Like yeah. that's a really, it, you, you wouldn't think about it, but you've tried doing 100 jumping jacks with ankle weights on. You're gonna get a really good little burn in, in your legs. This is a massive game changer. Yeah. That is, I love MMA, and I'm just gonna tell you, everybody, it's no secret now. I just did a movie on the subject. I've immersed myself in it. I have had the luxury of um, hanging out with Dana White, so I've had access to some of the greatest fighters in the game. Uh, Valentina Chevchenko, one who oh, yeah. plays my opponent in my movie, who's amazing. Um, I know Chris Cyborg, who's amazing. John Jones, Daniel Cormier, like, there's so many fighters that I love. Of course, I really love the ones I had a chance to meet, but Amanda Nunes, but I am just a fan of the sport. I, I don't want to sound corny or say something inauthentic, but I really do love them all. I really appreciate what this sport is. It's a blood sport. It's not for punks. It's um, a real uh, artistic form. There's so many martial arts and so many disciplines at play at, on, on any given day, on any given fight, and the level of skill uh, and the time one has to spend to be a, a world-class fighter is just above and beyond what you might imagine. So I have mad respect for all of them, truly. My favorite fighter would be anybody that has the courage and the discipline to go into a ring and do what they do. Um, that that yeah. is just that takes a, a, an unusual amount of commitment. And I only played one in a movie, <laughs> and it was scary. <laughs> Being on the other side of Valentina Cheptanko mm -hmm. <laughs> was fucking scary. That ain't no joke. Resistance is key. Using resistance bands is one of the mm -hmm. best ways of losing any jig on your arms. <laughs> you can pull these things apart. You yep. really feel a. Uh, you just feel the resistance, and and you know you can lock this into your foot down here. You can put this on a doorknob. There's just a million different ways of, of using these things, and that's what I love is that it's not just one particular way. You can also do dips. 
You can get a chair, put it behind you and sort of dip down just till your butt touches the ground and up and down that really attacks this extra skin. Can you superset workouts like that doing dips on a chair with some bands? You're gonna yeah. have a killer workout and it can be done anywhere. And when you need to add a little weight, you can add like two, three pounds oh, yeah. on the end of, you know, whatever exercises you're doing, which also um, is really effective. And these, these are wrist weights. Now at first, wrist weights are gonna feel like, ah, oh, it's, it's no big deal. You try doing your whole workout, whatever that is, with these wrist weights on, you're gonna feel a burn in your arm. Oh yeah. Believe me. And it's also good if you have um, wrist issues, right? This feels nice and snug around your wrist. It, you know, keeps it. I'm so glad you mentioned that. I immediately felt a bunch of support in my wrist while I have a little weight. You mean the titties? The tatas question. Park your titties? Anything to do with these with these bands are, you know, very expansive. Anything you wanna when you open your chest, mm -hmm. um, I, I think I couldn't think of anything better than this chest expander. Right here, ladies, if you wanna lift those titties, do this at nauseam. And even, you know, you guys who have titties. You yeah. can do this too. That's right. Just imagine you know? you're like Hulk Hogan, you're tearing your shirt off. Because as a guy, if you're going to really have titties, good. you don't want to lift those titties. This really helps too, especially because most <laughs> of the time, you know, if you're working at an office desk and you're sitting like this the whole time, you need to open up and help your posture. Yeah. And this movement right here, just holding that feels so And nice. that often helps your titties seem, you oh, know, yeah. lifted just by your posture if you're standing up straight or not, you know? Absolutely.